I'm Dave Kaiser. Thanks for joining us on Community Corner here in the city of New Hope, taking a look at ways they get ready for emergencies and some of the key elements they talk about. We had a chance to catch up with Assistant Chief Adam Watke to find out more about emergency preparedness right here in the city of New Hope. What we do for both cities, uh, New Hope and Crystal, is emergency management training. And what that does is prepare both cities, uh, Crystal and New Hope, their staff, uh, from human resources, finance, uh, public works, parks, all their staff play different roles in emergency management. Uh, in the case of a large scale emergency, whether it be a tornado, a large storm, uh, could be a flood, it could be an ice storm. Uh, any emergency that could affect all the residents or a large portion of the residents in either city. We follow a guideline that's put out by FEMA and that's a, a four step process of uh, mitigation, preparing and then it goes into response and recovery. So where we operate right now is a mitigation and preparing model and we, we start looking at things that could be a problem, where are our biggest concerns, um, what's the biggest risk, what's the biggest vulner vulnerabilities in the community. Typically our training uh, for each city uh, happens in June and in December and then some of the coordination with both the county and the state officials happens throughout the year. At uh, different times, they send out different projects that have to be done. Um, right now, we're working on a, a capabilities assessment that, we have to, that we're going to submit back for both cities. Thanks, Adam, for all the details of how the City of New Hope and West Metro Fire work together on emergency management preparedness. And again, a lot of that training happens right here at the West Metro Station Number 3 in the City of New Hope. And in case of an emergency, again, the two cities, Crystal and New Hope, come together in this room. More information, WMFRD.org.